and as you can guess, uh, we'll uh, uh, talk about the zoo's identity and uh, Euclid's first theorem, uh, two concepts uh, that we will use in our uh, discussions of uh, girdle numbers or uh, girdle numbering. We'll start with the zoo's identity uh, after the French mathematician uh, Etienne de Zoux. So uh, let's assume that uh, we have two uh, integers, a, b, a and uh, their greatest common divisor is equal to d. Then uh, Dezu's identity, sometimes uh, it is called uh, Dezu's lemma, uh, uh, says uh, that uh, there exist uh, x and y uh, such that uh, a times x plus uh, b times y is equal to d. Uh, so here's a couple of uh, examples. Uh, let's say that a is uh, 15 and b is equal to uh, 25. And uh, then the greatest common divisor of uh, 15 and 25 is equal to 5. Then uh, by the Sue's lemma, which we will not prove, we will just use it uh, as a factoid uh, in order to prove uh, Euclid's first theorem. So by the Sue's identity, um, must be uh, uh, x and y such that 15 times x uh, plus 25 times y is equal to 5. So, for example, x uh, can be equal to 2 and y uh, can be equal to minus 1. So 30 minus 25 is equal to 5. And uh, there are infinitely many of uh, uh, these x's and y's. D is unique, uh, right, the greatest common divisor, but uh, x's and y's uh, are not. Uh, so, uh, let's say, like, x minus 3 and uh, y is equal to 2 in any case. Four minus 45, minus 3 times 15, uh, plus uh, 2 times 25, so minus 45 plus 50 uh, gives us uh, 5. Uh, it's another uh, pair of x and y values, x minus 8 and uh, y uh, is equal to 5, so minus 8 times uh, 15, that gives us minus 120, and 5 times 25, 125, so minus 120, plus uh, 125 uh, gives us 5, and other uh, other pairs uh, that we can find. And uh, x's and y's uh, are uh, uh, found by uh, uh, the extended Euclid uh, algorithm. And you can uh, uh, take a look at the reference at the end of the screencast. Uh, there's an excellent uh, Wikipedia article on uh, the extended Euclid uh, algorithm. So um, let's talk about um, Euclid's uh, first theorem. The theorem says that if P uh, is a prime and um, uh, A, B are uh, integers uh, such that P uh, divides their product, then divides A, or P divides B, or both, but one is enough. Um, okay, so when you grab a different color, um, that's green. So, a, a note in our proof technique. So, um, let's say that uh, we want to prove a statement, uh, if A, then uh, B or C. One proof technique that we can use is that we can assume uh, that A is true, and uh, uh, negate one of uh, B or C, and not B is true, then it must be the case uh, that uh, C must be true. Right? Because if C is not true, then uh, B or C, and then uh, and B is not true, then uh, B or C cannot possibly be true. So if we explicitly negate uh, B then uh, and assume A, then we um, must be able to derive C. And alternatively, uh, we can assume A and not uh, C. And then derive uh, B. OK, so that's a side uh, note on uh, proof techniques. So let's get back to the uh, theorem. Uh, we uh, can assume that um, uh, P divides 
Rhodes AD. And um, we will also assume, without any loss of generality, uh, that B uh, divides A. It, it is not true that B divides A. B does not divide A. And um, so since, uh, and we will derive that uh, uh, B must divide B. So since B divides AB, there must be uh, a number R times B, uh, an integer such that R times B equals AB. So, um, and um, uh, since P uh, is a prime and P doesn't divide A, then uh, the greatest common divisor of P and A is equal uh, to one. And by Bezu, uh, Bezu's identity, uh, there exist uh, two numbers, x and y, such that p times x uh, plus a times y is equal to 1. Uh, and those are integers, some integers. So, um, b is equal to b times 1, and 1 is equal to uh, p times x plus uh, a times y. That's actually the critical step to realize in this proof. Uh, now, uh, uh, let's uh, factor it out, uh, b times p times x uh, plus uh, b a y. And now uh, b a is the same as a b, uh, obviously, and it's equal to uh, r times p. So we're trying to factor p so that uh, p is a factor of b. Uh, so b p x uh, plus uh, r p y is equal to uh, p times uh, b x plus uh, ry. So that shows that uh, p uh, is a factor of b. Or um, p divides b. So a quick example. Um, so 2 divides um, uh, 5 times 4. Right, so a, b, and b. p is 2, a is 5, and b is 4. So, it's obvious that uh, 2 does not divide 5. So, um, but since 2 divides uh, 5 times 4, it has got to be the case that r times 2 for some integer r is equal to 5 times 4. r is 10, it's obvious. Uh, but let's stay general. So, uh, the greatest common divisor of 2 and 5 is equal to 1. So by uh, Bezu's identity, we have x and y such that 2 times x plus 5 times y is equal to 1. That's all. x is equal to minus 7, y is equal to 3. So uh, b is equal to 4, uh, which is equal to 4 times y, uh, which is equal to uh, 4 times 2x plus 5y. So multiplying it out, 4 times 2 times x plus 4 times 5 time, uh, times y. Right? And that's uh, 4 times 5 is equal to r times 2. So 4 times 2 times x plus uh, r uh, times 2 times y uh, is equal to uh, 2. So we're going to uh, factor 2 out. Um, 2 times 4x plus um, ry. So uh, 2 divides, uh, divides b, which is equal to 4. So that's sort of obvious, but that's a, an example of applying uh, Euclid's uh, first theorem. So and it, and it is true uh, that if we plug in x and y, uh, minus 7 and uh, y uh, equal to uh, 3, then we're going to get 2 times 